Okay. So we've been everywhere except that way. We can't do anything on floor 30. In that spot. California native plants are good. When I was in Cathedral City, I saw a few people with fake yards. But I mean, <laughs> that's in Cathedral City. I don't think they really enforce it that heavily there. there have zero escaping self-sufficient plants and gravel in Austin just put in redwoods <laughs> oh man I would love to put in like thousand year old trees in my yard it's like yo just take that one from wherever it's at and just put it in the ground in my front yard it's fine do it just make it happen oh crap I went the wrong way how do I get over there Yeah, we had a lot of pecan trees in the area where we stayed in Texas. Lots of pecan trees. Oh yeah, I can imagine that would be a pain, Kaiko. Having acorns all up in your flower beds. Gotta pull them out fast so you have to get permission from the city. After it's two feet tall? Hmm. So what do they do? Do they come take it and do they replant the oak somewhere else? Man, I'm gonna have to like stop talking as much in a second. She still got crit hit, so let's take this off. Through the power of the hidden mantra, the party's vitality increased by three. Oh, that's nice. That's cool. What is that? Oh, I can't do it. It's just a group plus three vitality. That's kind of nice. Warrior King. I love that. Yeah. 
You just need a permit to get it out. I'm also sure I'm not sure on a two foot thing. Some specified height that isn't super tall. Your mom hates it. I can imagine it's probably a pain. Um, I don't know. I guess I should. I don't have. I don't want to spend a hundred. Oh, I can't even. I don't want physical attack skills. I don't care about those. I need this. Alright, well I guess I'll just start working on these. So I can get this node. Or something. I don't know. While I save up money. What's this? That's... Hey ZJ, how you doing man? What's going on? Sorry, my throat sounds like trash right now. I've been coughing a lot. Sure. Okay. The reason why I didn't give her the 100k is because they're about to level up and their mantras are more important. How am I not a top 20 streamer? Because <laughs> I take too many breaks because real life kicks me in the butt and I get too busy to stream between school and work and stuff. So I've never had the chance to really put in the time to be ultra mega consistent like I've wanted to over these three years. It'll be four years in June. And I've always just had to like take a hiatus here, take a hiatus there, and so then I would uh I you know <laughs> eighty percent of the people who would watch me would leave until I came back. I've got some some people who've been here, I mean of course, since the beginning. And a lot of y'all have been here for a very long time. There's not many people here from when I first started. Like, Archaic was here from the beginning, and there's not many more. Like, since day one. But there's not many more. I could be top dog streamer if I wanted. <laughs> I would be more, more well known, but I kind of play the, play the less popular games. That's also true. I definitely, uh,. I definitely don't play the super popular games. I mean, when I stream Dark Souls 2, I would hit 100 something. Um, you feel all left out? No, oh, I'm just saying. Like, y'all have been here for a very long time, but my first stream in June 2012. And like the first few months after that, not many people are still here from then, except for Archaic, just because I've had to take so many breaks. And that's understandable. Chill streamer could be doing overnight 2K. <laughs> yeah. A year is a very long time, though. Only thing you change about me streaming would be getting rid of that motion sickness. I Same, I agree. It does hold me back as well. Um, that's one of the problems is I can't play a lot of games because of it. I don't know what I would play. I play a lot more games probably, but I'd never know about these games if I never got if I never had my motion sickness. I probably wouldn't be a big JRPG gamer. And <laughs> insomnia, yeah. If I were more consistent, I'm pretty sure uh, I'd be a top night streamer. 
and if I play games, people care, but like most people don't care to watch JRPGs. You know, and even when I played Dark Souls, like I could hit a hundred something, but at that time, so many people were well, well established playing that game. So, and also just being a variety streamer, it's really difficult to um, grow a stream as a variety streamer if you don't have a lot of people hosting you and rating you all the time. Uh, and that's just kind of the nature of the beast. I don't feel bad about it. I don't I don't expect it. It doesn't bother me. But like, I know a lot of big people, but I don't necessarily get their hosts and uh, raids very consistently. So, but the, the ones who I know who are variety streamers, that's exactly how they got big. They knew some of the same people I did. They knew some others. And, uh, they they got the hosts and the raids and so then they grew and that's just kind of what, what it is so ice amp yes have i heard of the game wasteland 2 i've heard of it but i don't know anything about it maybe you could watch more dragon quest or old final fantasy i need to play some of the old final fantasies you love to see me play tales of Zestiria? Hmm. Do I have that one? I have a Tales game on the PS3, but I don't remember what it is. And my game case is too far away for me to go look. I can't see it from here. Because the door's closed. <laughs> on my entertainment center, so I can't look inside it from here. Wasteland is the series that Fallout is based on. Oh, I wonder if that would probably does it play the same as Fallout? Cause like games like Fallout and Borderlands, I just can't play. Like I can watch them for like five minutes and then I start feeling sick. So that's pretty tough. Where the heck am I supposed to go? Oh, it's on Steam. Oh, then I don't have it. Oh yeah, I have Tales of Cilia. Thank you, Valiant. I'm not sure what I'm playing that. I'm playing Lightning Returns next because I just need to finish the trilogy already. I think I've been taking forever. The original Fallout's not the 3D knockoffs. Oh. <laughs> Could be Vesperia. I don't remember anymore. Don't even remember anymore. No nerve. Yeah. <sighs> this is annoying. Oh, that's just the end of it. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So let's see. I've never really paid attention to it from this point of view. So this is just the end of this tree. So those aren't really important to me. Like, I want no res uh, physical, not physical resist. Vesperia is also on Xbox 360. I don't have that one then. Wasteland was the spiritual successor to the older Fallout games. Yeah, I don't know anything about it then. I've never seen it, I don't think. I've just heard of it, but I've never seen it. You own it, but you'll get to it when you're retired. <laughs> That's how I feel about half the games I have. It's like, I don't know when I'm going to get to that ever. Yeah. I don't know what to get this man. He can't even do that one. We can do this one, or this one, this one, this one. What are these one dots? These are three. Oh, because they're mastered. <sighs> I don't know. 
I suppose I should just learn this because it's cheap. It's like saying Warhammer 40k is a sequel to StarCraft. <laughs> PS3 release was Japan only. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I would love for the channel to grow. Because, like, I think I could be this responsive to everyone, even if I had 3,000 people in here. So, I wouldn't be worried about that. Like, for example, look at Cobalt Streak. Um, you know, he has. 6,000 people at a time in his channel here and there and he still is very responsive to the people in the chat uh, same with like Polt who streams StarCraft 2 and he has 3,000 people in his channel it's so, like I could do that easy especially if I'm playing a JRPG or something like that <laughs> of course I don't know 3,000 people who want to watch me play a JRPG at one time but just saying because I know a lot of people worry about when people grow and they lose their connection to the thing. But I would love to be able to stream for a big audience. Because I think that would be fun for all of us. I think you could be the IT dude to some streamer house and stream. I don't want to live in a streamer house. I refuse. Nope. Not doing it. Not doing that. That's not my thing. <laughs> Streamer house is not my kind of environment. <laughs> there's just a, there's a lot of behind the scene things that go on there that I just don't want to get involved in. Oh, you mean like a job? I'm pretty sure the people who were... Oh, crap. Um, the people who run streamer houses and whatnot, they probably do their own IT stuff. Like, I don't know. I know for me personally, maybe just because I'm an IT... I've, I've always been a tech guy kind of guy. Like, I've always been good with tech. Like, for me, I've always thought of it as, as if I have the wherewithal and idea to know how to stream and run a stream and set up a stream and the equipment for it and troubleshooting it when it goes down I don't need an IT person I can figure it out on my own so I would imagine I personally feel like they all are all the same so they probably wouldn't even need to hire an IT person because it wouldn't make sense especially in a streamer house because well I mean I guess I could do it but I wouldn't live there but I wouldn't have much work because streams don't go down that much or need maintenance all that often usually it's like a system software issue that I can't control anyway because it's bad OBS programming or something. Which is why I use XSplit. <laughs> Just kidding. I use XSplit because I uh, because I was I bought um, a full license when it was in beta for 50 bucks. I got a two-year license for 50 bucks whenever they were in beta and so I've always just gotten really good deals on uh, their advanced package because the thing is is they've always said is like if you make money from twitch and you use XSplit you have to use their paid version and so I've just since my licenses are like 80% cheaper than everyone else's because I was a day oneer, then I just did that Some streamer guys need a dedicated guy to set things up because they're focused on streaming. But I mean, like, once you have the stream set up, um, it doesn't take much to turn. Like, whenever you stream every day, you don't have to, like, do all this crazy stuff. Your scenes are always set. So it only really matters if you're, like, changing 
game systems that you're streaming with or whatever, but you can set multiple scenes like XSplit, you can set nine different scenes. So I have, you can set them all up for however you want. You do it once and then you're good for a long time unless you're doing a big event or something like that. Now, if we're talking like IT for someone like Spooky or something, yeah, sure, for the fighting game tournaments, but for just like even a casual big streamer, um, you know, even someone big like Dance Gaming and them, um, their scenes are all set most of the time. So they don't really need an IT person. Not like full time anyway. So it'd just be like a, hey, can you can I get you 20 bucks and you come spend 45 minutes to fix this thing like once every couple of weeks. It's not really necessarily like a full time gig that I know of. But of course, I don't know everything. So I could be way off. But just from what I know with streaming from my own personal experiences, it doesn't seem like something that would be a big demand. I don't know. But it could be. I wonder what Spooky uses. He's all Hollywood now. He'd probably never tell. Hmm. He probably... I don't know. I don't think Spooky uses OBS. Selling out IT. I guess they're full. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should... No. I feel like this is a... Why does he wear... Why is he wearing a trick ring? What's the trick ring do? Arosuku Kaja Tarunda. That's a good ring. It's a waste of... Oh, I gave him MP. Good. Yeah, I had to give her a new. They would just need a new ring in general. the wrong one. Oh well. Oh, this takes me back to basement seven. I wonder if you still do the hunt on this floor or if it's different now. Still not gonna do it cause I'm bad at it, but I'm curious. You know, like how chat resets on your phone. Oh, like if you have to bounce out for a second. The, but surf is not in the party. <laughs> Only surf can do it. Wow, they don't even let you do the hunts without Surf, which means there's only one hunt in the game, supposedly. Feels like you missed something. Um, no, nah, it's been pretty silent for a few minutes. Yeah, 
no thanks. That hunt wouldn't have worked out for me. iOS or Android? Yeah, I use Android, personally. I can do more with it without having to jailbreak it, so I prefer it better. I'm lost in this place. The 30th floor didn't take me anywhere. It just went to that one area where it was impassable for some reason. You're sleepy. You're not allowed to leave, Kaiko. No. Oh, I have to run back this way. How did I not see that? Do I plan on getting the Fire Emblem X SMT game? It sounds pretty cool. I would like to. What system is it going to be on? PS3 or PS4? Gosh, it rocks. That's good. You didn't sleep well last night? I'm sorry. Do you have to do anything tomorrow? On Wii U? Oh, I don't have a Wii U. So yeah, I won't be getting it. Never mind. Oh, he's ice. Whoops. Crap, she's dead. I wonder how much it would be censored. SMT like game on a Nintendo console. Hmm. That's an interesting idea, yeah. Fiasco might be censored. Oh, like if they uh, had Nanako's thing. Well, I mean, I don't know because they do have Bayonetta on the Wii U, and that's pretty risque. So I think they might let SMT slide. Now they do have that one, uh, yeah, OG Psycho. What's that one with the dude with the chainsaw arm? That's in like black and white and super gory. Wasn't that on Wii U? Uh, Mad World or whatever? Battle Mad Max? Mad World? Something like that. Wasn't that on Wii U? Mad World, yeah, that's the one. 
You had to explain that to some guy back south. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I think they'd still let the steamy bathhouse thing pass. Like, if they let Bayonetta pass still, they they would let that pass, I feel. Explaining the difference between treatment of women and men. Oh, man. I'm sure that was a fun conversation. I don't know. Like, they're really picky. It's, it's really tough to call what they do and don't let in. It's really hard to say. Like, man, 100% raw and uncut. <laughs> I love every second of it. Yeah, they do have some games that are like, you know, risque. They do have some games that are very violent. So, I don't know. I, I don't see why they wouldn't let some of them through. Oh, uh, really? I gotta go back this way to do that? I'm for both gonna do a zoom around Bayonetta's crotch. Let's get the big old zoom around of a ball sack. Yeah. They let Bayonetta in. They can let in Kanji. Let him breathe. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I saying? Don't bother me none. Safe here. <laughs> so there were a couple of paths. Like this place makes you really explore everything. I wonder if I'm gonna have to go back up to like the seventh floor and do stuff there. Which would be really inconvenient. Let's try this again. Let's learn this one. Why? Because why not? Then we can try to see what this is. This one I can't do yet because I don't have 800k. So that's going to be tricky. I'll figure out what this one is later. Personally, don't care either way. Most people harping on about equal rights are slacktivists. Slacktivists, as in they're not doing enough. Or I've never heard of that term. Follow-up ring. What's that? Crap! Stupid bird. I don't want to fight you. And fine.
states have an increasingly increasing sex slavery issue. Very little is being done about it. Yeah, a lot of countries have are having that problem. It's kind of sad. Not kind of like actually sad. Reduces turn icon loss from missed attacks, so it's only one instead of two. That's actually really good. Like I'm getting some rings that I'm thinking are worth using. Maybe I should swap them out. Like, maybe she should have the ether ring, but she doesn't need magic. But maybe the follow-up ring. Very little being done over the awareness of the issue or existence thereof. Hmm. I mean, New York just made a task force and it's just making headway. Did y'all hear about that one group that came from Korea and they were detained in LA? for 15 hours because they thought they were sex slaves after searching their bags and seeing the costumes and props like how do they not believe them if they have proof of their medical their their uh, not medical music musician status they're like a k-pop group they were coming here for like to on tour or something like that to do a concert and then they went back to korea because they couldn't leave detainment in la that was pretty messed up. I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna give him this. Or should I give? Yeah, I'm gonna give him this. I think a lot of modern problems are only a big deal because of the internet. The internet issue is amazing. <laughs> the internet issue. I still don't know this stupid demon ring. I don't like it. Um, maybe I'll keep the trick ring. Maybe she should have the... You know what? She should have... Not the follow-up, but the... Uh, this ring. I will say that I think the internet helps perpetuate some issues and in some cases of people seeing things, seeing the media that they see that we are all exposed to speeds up the process in which a person would have done something that they might have done later, if that makes any sense. Like if someone was going to be crazy and, you know, take a gun to a school or something um, they might have not have done it as soon had they not seen so many stories about it online or something to that effect if you catch my drift like the bad news spreading around makes people who were already maybe going to do it kind of do it a little sooner than they would it's pretty interesting um, we talked about that in a psych class once that was years ago I don't remember the context of it though Um, let's see. I need to equip these rings with stuff. Customize them. Whoops. If slavery exists, it should be stopped, but most people don't even want to hear that it is an issue. Yeah, that's one thing that, um, we talk about in my master's degree classes, too. Um, with a lot of different issues. Uh, one class, we were talking about diversity, so of course that came up as an issue. Um... that came up as an issue for like racism where like in some locations like they talked about Minnesota nice and it's like they don't even want to acknowledge that racism is a thing they just assume nobody is racist and they uh, like ignore it even though it's blatantly there that happens in a lot of societies too it's pretty interesting crazy crazy things yellow journalism just finished media studies and we talked about how the media does that it's basically a part of what they call yellow journalism i've never heard the term yellow journalism before if it's not illustrated in a certain manner it won't reach people um huh. yellow journalism is just one approach man y'all know a lot about journalism i don't know anything about journalism 
so he needs... What does he need? I'm gonna give him a magic. Oh wait, he's wearing a trick ring. It can't be customized. Hers can though. Think tabloids. There's a lot that gets into it. Think tabloids was the dominant media at one time. Yeah, I remember that. Or I mean, I know that that was a dominant media at one time. Okay. I should boost up the agility too. I kind of want to like use one of these pink sapphires and hope I get lucky. But I just feel like it's going to give me luck or magic and it's going to suck. Did it go more vitality? I guess I go more vitality. I should go more strength, maybe. Yeah, I should go strength. There we go. That's better. So he needs vitality in a bad way. Because he's got, like, no health. This is too complicated for my sleepy brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Kaiko. Okay, cool. When you think yellow germ journalism, think Fox News. Oh, okay, I can do that. TMZ, news media sources like that, or cable news. Okay. Gotcha. CNN is more infotainment than we want to think. Yeah, I know. One of my old co-workers, she lived and died by, like... She lived and died by... Uh... CNN. One second. <clears throat> so what is the... Uh, so y'all tell me this. If those two sources are yellow entertainment, what's the best source for me to get my news? What should I use? BBC? Is that the best news? Or is that one bad too? Because I've been trying to find a good news source for a while, actually. And I've been struggling with that. better news source than anything here see that's what I figured so that's why I was like I kind of peek, peek around at that but I'm still just like I don't know it feels like it's getting too popular and maybe changing so I don't know yeah yeah finding re experts in that field and just like checking them out is probably the best thing maybe Twitter's okay for that because you can follow experts and see what they're checking out but like I just mean like a general news source if I don't have time to mess with that you know Um, I should. Magic is probably okay. Agility's fine. Okay, so I will take a chance with him because everything's pretty even anyway. See, we got luck. Should I do it again? No, I shouldn't do it again. Well, I'm gonna do it again and hope that I get vitality. We got agility. Of course we got agility, it's Cielo. But if Cielo dodges everything, it's fine. C-SPAN? C-SPAN's good? Hmm. If you're on Windows 10, they give you the best news app I've seen so far. I'm not on C Windows 10. I have Windows 10 on my laptop, but not on my desktop here. I'm not going to upgrade this one to 10. I, thought, I always thought C-SPAN was suspect. There we go. Still here for the JRPG, just saying. Yeah, I know. I had to handle something really quick. And then I was thinking. My bad. <laughs> this is boring as ever, but it's the least bias of like local, of like the most local popular news sources. Windows 10 is alright unless you're using the upgrade. Yeah, I don't have a problem with it on the lap time. Uh, on the on the laptop I don't have a problem with it but like um, save one more time 
I just don't want to upgrade this to it because I have everything installed on here. Uh, I know it's pretty seamless, but I just don't want to have any XSplit Windows 10 issues right now since Windows 10 is still pretty new. Your mom watches this, she says they cut people off all the time. Streams come for the JRPGs, stay for the random discussion about everything that isn't JRPGs. <laughs> Yellow's gonna die. There we go. Overall, it's a performance boost. Oh, I don't need to worry about performance boosts for my computer at all. I'm not worried about that. Uh, keep forgetting their freaking ice block. We have to run. That would be a tough fight because they like immune to everything magic wise those medical gears are really good you found it's the least bias of almost anything they're right to the boring points of all the information you'll need to know on large political movements yeah, I, I used to look at it back when I was, like, in middle school. <laughs> then as I got older, I felt like, I don't know, most news here was really biased. Like, the popular ones were really biased, so I just kind of stopped watching all of it, especially once internet was out. And it's like, well, if I want to find something on news in another country, I should probably look at an international site. Which, of course, they could definitely be biased as well. That doesn't mean, like... You know, all news in Europe is non-biased, and every news source here is. That's not what I mean to say. Oh yeah, there's def there's definitely some issues with uh tens uh privacy. I don't mess with it. Wow, these birds, man. Like, this dungeon's actually really difficult with this party. Really difficult. Let's see, I gotta take off that freaking stun. And I need a heal. How do I want to heal? He's out of stuff. Do I use a chakra pot and heal us that way? Or do I just like use my brave rations? I definitely would have bought more resources had I known it was going to be this crazy. <clears throat> hmm. I should probably just use the resources. Because we're going to have to fight a boss fight and I'm going to need my mana. I don't know. What exactly can you do to fix Win 10 privacy issues? I don't know. I don't know enough about Windows 10, honestly. I haven't really read up a whole lot on it. to do that. I don't like doing that. I just use these. I gotta start limiting my fights from here on. I might have to start just running from some or just trying to win with physical attacks and I don't know. Yeah, definitely turning off location settings helps but I don't know what all their privacy stuff is. I just heard that it was a problem for a lot of people so I don't really have a good uh, idea on what to do. But I'm pretty sure there's plenty of bloatware that um, 
does more harm than good. Wow, that just leads me back to there. Are you serious? How do I get up top there? I gotta get up there. Man, this place sucks. itself geez okay so that brings me to that spot I need to go in one of those doors you going to bed Kaiko no no stop going to bed that's enough of that good night Compared to Lenovo Hex. Lenovo. Ah, I had to take off his stupid stun. Retaliate's good though. More agility. Maybe change the subjects to do? If y'all want to. I don't have a problem with any of the conversations going on. I think we're handling it fine. No one seems frustrated, so I think we're good. bouncing all over the place anyway. <laughs> oh, OG. Remember I was telling you about that uh, girl staring at you. Ah, there we go. Remember I was telling you about that apple pizza? I made it today. That was good. Yeah, it's apple, carrots, yellow peppers. Um... No, Kaiko just hasn't been sleeping well. She didn't sleep well last night. And so she's getting some rest. This is usually around the time she goes to sleep anyway. Yeah, carrots, apples, um, bacon, and yellow peppers. And the sauce was a... Uh, the sauce was a... Uh, Greek yogurt. Spicy red pepper. Self-made pizza dough? Of course. Of course. Of course it was. Self-made pizza dough that was chilling in the fridge for 48 hours before I used it. time to oh yeah I just the only thing is I don't have a pizza stone what did it taste like it tasted amazing it's like not sweet not too sweet it's got a nice little crisp like I've made an apple pizza before but it had been years since I've done it and that sauce was like super on sale. 20 bucks for stone. I don't have 20 bucks right now though. Not to buy a stone. Plus in this apartment this oven sucks. It wouldn't heat it properly probably.
Oh yeah, there was spinach on it too. I forgot about that. I just wanted a light, healthy pizza. And it's definitely cheaper than like buying one from the even from the freezer aisle. So that came out really well. I mean, of course it came out really well. I cooked it. I've been cooking for years. And was gonna be a chef, so I mean pretty confident in my abilities. Like cooking is like one of the few things I'm borderline arrogantly cocky about, but that's just because I've done it for so long. <laughs> Wait, it didn't show up. Why didn't it show up? No. My T notifier didn't show up. <laughs> oh, thank you, Rupert. It's like, you have to use this for a pizza stone. Thank you for the donation, man. <laughs> Pizza stone only, nothing else. <laughs> I will find a $20 pizza stone and I will purchase it. <laughs> Cooking is a <laughs> meditation. Cook your pizza. Because you specifically said it was for the pizza stone, I will make it specifically for the pizza stone. Thank you. I don't know why it didn't show up. Don't need much more. Yeah, that's true. I just have to make sure this stove doesn't ruin it. That wasn't the way either? What the heck? <laughs> okay. So basement 30. I couldn't do anything. There's nothing to see here because the way was blocked. Oh, there it is. Wait, I got to the basement 30 a different way? How'd I get there? Oh man, I don't remember how I got there. Ah, oh, crap. Just general outrage for how you treat your pizza. <laughs> I had a stone. A long time ago, but I had to get rid of it. I moved because I had to get rid of all, most of my stuff. Um, was it this way? I have to run from these fights. There's too many fights. Paid for college with pizza cooking, it's a thing now. You mean like... Oh crap, I don't remember which way to go here. Um... Like your job gave you tuition discount for working at a pizza parlor? Kind of thing? Or...
crap. All my money gone. Okay, where, which way? You delivered and cooked pizza to get money to buy tuition and books for five years. Ah, I see. Oh, crap. Oh, hey man, that's some good stuff, dude. Was it like at a Papa John's or something? Yeah, the places I've lived, it's hard to do unless you do it for quite a long time. Just because they don't pay enough. Smaller joint, good ingredients. Ah, okay. Okay, so I gotta figure out how I got to that area on the 30th floor. This place is really confusing. I mean, we've also been talking about a bunch of random stuff, which threw me off too. So I'm sorry on YouTube if you're like horrendously bored watching me. <laughs> I'm sorry. 22 bucks an hour. Do your own maintenance with an older vehicle with tips. 22 an hour with with tips. Oh, and you did student loans. Dang it! What? Yeah, when I was in Arizona, my buddy delivered pizzas and stuff, but he only made like 13 an hour. Doing delivery and stuff. That was with tips. It was 13 an hour because like his wage was like 10 something, but he was delivery driver and it came out to about 13 an hour, including tips. And we were, that was in Arizona, like, in Tempe, so, like, Phoenix isn't far away. And, uh, or at least South Phoenix wasn't far away. And there were schools, there's quite a few schools in Tempe. So, but he still, like, he was doing, like, 40 hours a week, and it still only averaged out to 13 an hour. 